let's create a personal chatbot using ChatGPT, which can answer all of our weird questions like what if Albert Einstein, one of the greatest mind mankind have ever seen, were to exist today? What will be his thoughts on Flutter? And the response was shockingly good. This is part 1 of a video series on AI domination. Let's get started. So first add this chat GPT flutter package and this other package for the UI. And now we will create some variables like answers, loading, a list of question answer where this model consists of two properties name, question and answer where the answer is of type string buffer. Then add the chat GPT, the text editing controller and stream subscription which require the completion response which we will see later. Now create the init state and initialize the text editing controller and the chat GPT where we need to pass the API key. Now to get the API key, open platform.openai.com and make sure you are logged in and once done, click on view API key. And here we can create a new cigarette key by simply clicking on this button. Then add the dispose and call text editing controller.dispose and stream subscription.cancel. Now let's add the UI. So inside this column, I will add expand date and give it a child of list view dot separated with some padding and the item count is equal to question answers dot length which contains the list of question and answers. Then add the item builder. Inside it will get the given question answer from the question answers list at the given index. Then we will create an answer variable and assign it to question answer dot answer and call to string and trim method on it. And this is the variable which stores the response of the chat GPT. And now we will return a column. In it we will add the user question widget which is a row with the user avatar and his question. And if the answer is empty and it's loading then we will return the loading widget which is a simple 3 dot animation. Or else return chat GPT answer widget with the respective answer which also contains a row with the chat GPT avatar and its response. And then we will add a separator builder which returns a size box. And with this we have finished the basic chat UI. Now let's create the text field. So first add a divider then a container with some basic styling and give it a child of row. And then add expanded widget and give it a child of text form field. Now add the text editing controller, give it some basic styling and add on field submit callback and pass this send message method in which we will add the logic to send request to chat GPT. Now lastly add this icon button with some basic styling and an icon of icon sack dot send then add on pressed and pass send message. Now let's create this send message method. In it we will get the user question from the text editing controller then inside the set state call text editing controller dot clear and set the loading to true and add this question to our question answers list by adding the question answer model then pass the given question and for the answer we will pass the string buffer now let's create a request to chat gpt so call the completion request which take a prompt which will be our question then set the stream to true max token to 200 and model to chat gpt model dot text davinci 003 now as this is a stream request so we'll create a separate method called stream response to handle this request and after that call set state and set the loading to false now let's create the stream response which take the completion request as a parameter in it first we'll call stream subscription dot cancel in order to cancel any previous subscription then add the try catch block where if any error occurs we will set the loading to false and write the last answer as error so we can see it in the ui and then lock the error now inside the try box create a stream variable and assign it to chat gpt dot create completion stream and give it the request now we'll assign the stream subscription to this given stream dot listen which takes an callback where we get an event now add a set state in which we will check if event dot stream message end then cancel the stream subscription or else call question answers dot last dot answer dot write which will write the chat gpt's answer inside the last element of the question answers list which will be our latest element and pass the event dot choice dot first dot text where the event contains the API response of the chat GPT which is inside the first element of the choices array with the text key. And that's how we create a personal chatbot using chat GPT. And if you want to learn more about such complex topic then make sure to join our newsletter.